So in the part before this one, I did talk about creating HTML using JavaScript. And that's great, but sometimes when you have too many pieces in your HTML code, creating that with JavaScript can get really challenging. So a way to make that experience a little easier is to use template tag. So let me show you how it works. So if I have this empty again document with this div with an ID app, and we're gonna basically add our final code here inside of this div. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go below this div and create a template tag. All right, close this tag too. So that's our template tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an ID to this. I'm gonna call it sample. In this tag, I'm gonna create something. So I'll start by creating a div. In this div, we'll create an H1. I'll create a paragraph. Below that paragraph, we'll create a couple of other things, I guess. I'll do a small tag. So small tag is basically a smaller piece of text. That's that. Maybe I'll do another div. In this div, I'm gonna create a little more text, but I'll also put it in a couple of different tags. So I'll do strong tag, some date in here. And after the strong tag, I'll do a dash. I will use a span tag. So span is similar to div, but unlike div, it's not gonna push things to the next line. So if you want something that stays on the same line, but you want to be able to put it in a container, use span. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just creating some HTML inside of this template and you can make it as complicated or as simple as you like. I'm gonna add a class, call this one title, and I'm gonna add a class to pretty much most of this. That's our description. And another class for this. Let me just close this so you can see the whole thing. I'm gonna save this. So there it is. So I've built this piece of code. It's basically this div with all this stuff in it. And you can make it as complicated as you like. It doesn't matter. The point is everything inside of this template tag is gonna be this stuff. That's gonna be the template we're gonna use to grab that and put it inside of this div right here that has the ID app. So the important thing about this template tag is this. So this file is this make stuff HTML file, this one. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna go back and open this file. And you'll see that nothing really shows up. So that's the thing about template tag, it's invisible. So you create this to be able to later on grab this piece of code with JavaScript and use it on your page. So let's do that. Now that I have this template tag, I should be able to use my console and see it's in here. We gave it an ID sample. So I'm gonna be able to find it by doing my document get element by ID. The way we find elements as usual. So if I just run this code, you'll see we'll find that template tag. To get to what's inside of this template, which is really this part, that's what we need. You get to the content in that template. So let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna create a variable, temp1, just a variable name. And what I'm gonna do, I'm basically just gonna take this and do dot content. So the template tag has this dot content property. And if I run this, that will store that content in that temp1 variable. So if I run this, see it says document fragment. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take this content that we have and I'm gonna make a copy of it that's gonna be in HTML that we can basically use later on. So to do that, we'll take document dot import node. That is gonna take this template content, you do the second argument true. 
Let's take this and save it in a variable. Hit enter. Now, if I run that copy HTML, again, it's a fragment. So now we should be able to take this copy that we've made of our template and use it in our document. So I'm gonna just place it in that app div. So see this div right here. So to do that, I'm gonna do a document dot get element by ID. The ID for that is app. And we want to append child pretty much the same way you do with any other HTML element. And we're gonna take that copy HTML and append it as a child for that app. And as you can see in the background, we have that on our page now. So if I go to my inspector, you'll see that inside of this div, this template is still gonna stay here, but it's still invisible. But if I open the div, see it has that div and all that stuff that we had in our template. So basically we can create a piece of HTML code, store it in a template, and then use it in our JavaScript to basically just grab that and put it someplace on our page. All right, so that's great. Now I'm gonna clear this. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna refresh to start over. So most of the time when you do this, however, you're probably gonna use this template as a template. And what that means is that you're probably not gonna use this text directly in your template. You're gonna just plug in that text in your JavaScript code while using this construction of your HTML. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here and just remove all of this text. I could have kept it, to be honest with you, but usually you wouldn't keep that in here because we're gonna replace it anyway. So if you want some default text, you could just plug that text in there. But if you don't want any default text in any of these boxes, then you just leave them empty. I'm gonna save this. So I do this again. So I'm gonna go ahead and reload this, go to my console. So again, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna just go grab our template and I'm just gonna run this line. So we'll create that template and we grab the content. Then we're gonna run the line to make a copy of that template again. Now we have that copy of the template. Now this is where we used to just grab this copy and append it in our app div. But instead what we're going to do, we're gonna change some things up inside of that copy and then append it in our div app. And this is where this template shines the most because now we can use all of our regular selectors to search and find things inside of this template the way we would search and find in our document and do some replacements. So for example, to find this H1 inside of that template, we have this title class, right? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to my console and inside of that copy HTML, I'm gonna do query selector and I'm gonna search for that class title and because it's a class, we'll do a dot. And once we find that title, I'm gonna set the text content of that title to whatever I want it to be. And I'll say my title. I'm just gonna repeat this. Let me go find what the other classes are. See this one for description. I'm gonna go back here. Now we'll search for that description class and we'll modify that to my new description. Now let's do that for date. So I'm just gonna plug in my own date. I'm gonna have to look up where the rest of the stuff are. So category and topic. So the next one is category. So we'll set it to my super category whatever your text is gonna be. And finally topic, which is again a class, so dot topic, and we'll set it to whatever we want to be in here. We'll say JavaScript. So now that we set all those things inside of this copy HTML, we should be able now to take that copy HTML and plug it inside of that div app. So we're gonna just go ahead and find that and 
I'm just going to hit up until I get the line that I had. There it is. So I'm going to now search and find that by ID app and append child this copy HTML, which should be that copy we just made. So if I run this, see it has now this title, my title, this description, it has this date. Basically, we're able to just go search, find and replace things inside of our template and then use that on our page. And that way we avoid creating all of these elements one by one, adding all these classes to each element and then trying to put that inside of the other element and all those steps. This way we just use a template to just take that, change it dynamically and plug it back in to our page. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.